Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be answering one of the most asked questions. Why is my hood on? I don't need a hood on. Jeepers. It's not that cold out. It's getting there though. It's frightening. How do you dust your Lego? How do you clean your Lego? <gasps> Can you imagine all of the dust in that room? <gasps> Could you imagine dusting all of that Lego? I know it's a huge task. There's a lot of Lego in this room, but today I'm going to be providing you all the tips and tricks that I know and also all the tools that I know of that can help you manage the dust in your Lego collection or in your house or in your toy collection or of any sort like that. So I'm going to be answering all of the questions in regards to how do I clean and how do I dust the Lego here in the Lego room. So I guess the first thing we should do is find a specimen here in which needs dusting. I'm sure this thing does. But let's find something a little bit smaller and maybe something in which we'll show off the dust a little bit better. Something that is probably black because black shows off dust. Ah, I think we got the perfect set right here. This is like the Jack 14 something or other from Star Wars. You can see it's got a little bit of dust on it. Nothing crazy though. We've definitely seen dustier specimens than this before. And I'm going to show you how I deal with those as well. But let's start with this little guy right here. Now you probably already know how I'm going to take care of the dust on these black plates here on this awesome Lego Star Wars set. I'm going to use one of three tools, but unfortunately I only have two of them on hand right now. The first one is going to be a Swiffer duster. Oh yes, this guy right here. This is the most basic thing and you can see that it's seen some dust in its day. All I'm going to do is just rub it. And voila, the dust is gone. Very easy. Now say for example I wanted to get in the cracks and crevices where all the dust are. You can use this right here which is a makeup brush or you can also use a paintbrush. Now this will allow you to also dust the Lego. Now the problem with the brushes is, is that they don't, they don't actually pick up the dust, rather they just move it from point A to point B. So I always like to use a Swiffer duster because it actually picks up the dust. However, this thing is way better for getting into the corners and all these little crevices on any Lego set. Now if this brush is too big, well then get a smaller one. And they come in all sorts of sizes, right? Chicks need their, their makeup brushes in all different sizes for doing whatever they do with them, but I personally use them for dusting Lego, and Swiffers and makeup brushes are great for on-the-spot dusting. They can allow you to conquer the dust when you are looking to clean your Lego. So without question, those are fantastic tools that I recommend using. Now, when do I use those? Well, this is going to answer another question that I get asked all the time. How long does it take you to dust all your Lego? The reality is, is it doesn't take me long at all. Because when do I dust Lego? I only dust Lego when I am moving Lego. So the other day when we moved all of our sets around the Lego room here to make more space on our shelving, and we also reorganized the shelving, that's when I went ahead and dusted the Lego. So any Lego set in which I picked up, if it needed to be dusted, then we dusted it. So I don't particularly set a time aside where I go around and dust Lego. I only dust it when I'm actually physically moving the Lego and that actually happens quite often, both in the city and also on the shelves. Now that was a very light example. It was barely dusty. It barely even needed to be dusted. Actually, yeah, it needed to be dusted. That was pretty bad. Obviously that one didn't get dusted when we moved our shelves. So. What the heck should I say? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Kidding very much. So let's talk about a different dust experience in which I've had in the past. And it actually involves this guy right here, which is the Lego Star Wars UCS Death Star 2. I'm going to throw an image up on the screen right now. That was the condition of the set when I originally got it. We called it the Dust Star because it was absolutely disgusting. How did I deal with dust like that? I don't think the Swiffer or a paintbrush would have taken care of it or a makeup brush. So we actually had to part the thing out. But once it's actually parted out, how do you dust it? And how do you clean the Lego? Because it's 
past the point of needing dusting, it actually physically needs to be cleaned. So how do we do that? Now, I'm not actually gonna part out my dust jar. Rather, I'm gonna use this bin of miscellaneous pieces right here. These are pretty gross. They're pretty dusty. I got them in a bulk lot. They're pretty nasty. There's like dog hair in them and they need to be cleaned. So I'm gonna use this bin right here as an example on how I would clean a whole bulk lot of Lego. And it could be a Lego set in which is parted out as well, just like the Dust Star. Get out of the way, we're trying to clean some Lego in the sink. Oh. Come on, we need the kitchen. We've got more important things to do. Uh, I guess we'll show you something else in the meantime. Now one of my other tips is this guy right here. It's a vacuum cleaner. Oh yes, this thing is very handy. So I always vacuum my Lego room, at least once a week. Actually, I think it needs a vacuuming right now. But this tool isn't only good for vacuuming the floor, it's also good for vacuuming your Lego. I'll show you that in one second. Just let me vacuum my entire Lego room. or just that one spot, I guess. Why is it important that you vacuum the floor? Because a lot of the dust and dog hair and cat hair or whatever you might have is actually on the floor. So when you walk by it, the dust picks up into the air and lands onto your beloved Lego. So it's very important to vacuum your floor often, especially if you have carpet. And in particular, if you have Pomeranian Huskies like me and a cat, yeah, it gets pretty gross, so you gotta vacuum all the time. But you can also change the tip of your vacuum to this tip here. It's got those bristles on the end. This is the best for vacuuming the city. I'll just vacuum up this car here. Just kidding. So what you wanna vacuum is the base plates. You can see that, mine's actually pretty clean right now, but you'll see like there's dog hair and stuff right here, so I'll literally just vacuum it. Just like I would anyway. So if I wanted to do an entire clean, then what I would do is I'd move all the minifigures, I would move all the vehicles, I'd move anything in the way like the traffic lights because you don't want to be bumping over the traffic lights and stuff like that. And I will literally vacuum my streets. Or what you can do is actually use a combination of the vacuum cleaner and also the makeup brush or a uh, paintbrush because the paintbrush will actually put it into a little pile and then you can vacuum it up with the vacuum, or you can Swiffer it as well. But this is probably the most efficient way to clean the streets. Unfortunately, the actual like street cleaners here in the city, like this guy over here, he doesn't do his job very well. So I use vacuum and other tools like that to literally clean my base plates. Yeah. Why not? Just, just do it. <laughs> it works great. I'm guessing there's some more dust that needs to be tackled with the Swiffer and paintbrushes here in the Batman shelves. Let's see if Jose's done up there so we can show you how to clean the Lego. But first I might vacuum the top of my factory. This thing works like beautiful. It is awesome, magnificent. So actually for this demonstration, I've decided to move to my washroom. You're gonna need a few things before you get started. A colander or a strainer, a towel, some dish soap, some dirty Lego of course, and either a sink or a bathtub, depending on how much Lego you have that needs to be cleaned. So if you're cleaning a bulk lot and you don't really know what's in it, the first thing that I would do is go through and take all of these bricks apart so that you maximize the surface area in which you are cleaning. Also, as you sort through it, if there's something that's not Lego in there, I don't know, a brick separator, off-brand bricks, get them out of there. <laughs> you don't need those in your Lego bins. Get rid of those. So once you have it all broken apart, in this demonstration they won't be, dump it into the bathtub or the sink. And of course, fill that bathtub with warm water. As the tub is filling, 
put a little dash of dish soap in there. You don't need too much because it'll go a long way. Then of course you sit back and let the bathtub fill up. And yeah, I really didn't need to add that much water because this is not a whole lot of Lego. If I really wanted to, I could go get some more Lego from the basement. And I probably added a little bit too much soap. However, now you just need to swoosh it around in the warm water. You know what? I guess I will take all the Lego apart. Okay, so now our Lego's all clean. It's in the water here. We've got to do one more thing before we move on to the drying phase. And that's actually the rinsing phase. So what you want to do is take your colander or strainer, scoop a bunch of bricks into it. You got to keep in mind that this is somewhat soapy water and it might be a little bit dirty still because it came out of the dirty water. So you want to turn your tap back to medium. And give it a quick rinse. Jostle it around a bit to remove as much water as possible. And then once you've removed as much water as possible, transfer it over to your towel. Simply lay it on the towel. So now that we have all of our Legos strained and laid out on the towel here, we can pat it to dry within that same towel, or we can use a second towel and just lay it over top and pat it to dry that way. Once we've patted it to dry as best as we can, we will just let air do the rest and we'll let it air dry. Now, one thing that you have to keep in mind, as you saw me earlier, I was straining the Lego with the bathtub drain closed. Do not open your drain when there is Lego in your bathtub. I forgot to mention that during that phase. Lego will go down your drain. So when you're straining the Lego, make sure you do not pull the drain. Do not pull the drain until all of the Lego is out. Now, once we've got it all dry and sort of the air has done its work and us patting it to dry has uh, removed all the water, we're gonna sort it into our part bins. And there you go, folks. That's how I go about cleaning Lego. It's actually in the bathroom, whether it be bulk lots or Lego sets that are really, really dusty and need to be parted out and cleaned. Pretty easy. So there's a bunch of tools and also tips and tricks in regards to cleaning Lego. There's also one other thing that you can use to help manage the amount of dust in your Lego room. And that is actually using an air purifier because that will purify and remove all of the dust. Well, not all of it, but most of the dust in your Lego room. That's something that I need to do is invest in an air purifier. That's really about it for today. Just wanted to answer one of my most asked questions of all time. How do I manage the dust or how do I clean my Lego? Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great tips coming out here on the Brixie YouTube channel. Also some more videos as well. Peace out, guys.